More than 90% of that muscle growth and maintenance is your workout, and less than 10% of it is the protein. Christopher Gardner is a Stanford nutrition scientist whose diet fits trial and viral Netflix twin study are transforming how we understand diet, disease, and plant-based eating. And wherever I look right now, everybody is ingesting protein. Is this all just hyped up? Is it just marketing? Is protein really as essential as what we make it out to be? I think it's completely overhyped. If you're complaining that plants don't have leucine, that plants are missing amino acids, that's BS. I think the problem in that debate is the leucine threshold. What is it? Is it 2.2? I heard that in order to actually reach that through plants alone, you have to be having such a large amount compared to that of meat. Yeah, I disagree. One study which I loved is the DiFit study. So you challenged some pretty entrenched ideas by showing that weight loss wasn't about carbs versus fats, but overall diet quality. We really expected to see a winner. We are going to figure this out and people are just going to call us up and we'll be on the talk shows because we know who should be on which diet and we'll end the diet wars. And we didn't. I will say that the most impactful thing I have done to date wasn't even my best study. It was a little study with 22 pairs of identical twins where one man went vegan and one stayed omnivorous and it got featured in a four-part Netflix docu-series which is the most talked about on social media. What do you think was the biggest misconception about the twin study and why do you think it was so controversial? Oh good, I would love to deal with this one. So the biggest one was 